Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Risha Infinity 2 Pro textile jacket. This jacket shows just how important laminated membranes have become on textile kit. The Infinity 2 jacket had been in Risha's range for a couple of years before they added this, the Infinity 2 Pro. The Straight Infinity 2 has what's called a drop liner, where the waterproof membrane sits on the inside of the jacket as a separate layer from the outer shell. The idea is that it repels any rain that soaks through the outer, so the jacket might get wet, but you stay dry on the inside. On this Pro, the membrane is laminated to the outer shell, making the outer less likely to saturate in the first place. If the jacket isn't saturated, it's drier, lighter, and it's warmer to wear because a dry jacket is inherently warmer than a wet one. This Pro jacket is £299.99, which is £60 more than the Straight Infinity 2. So that shows the premium you pay for having a laminated membrane. So let's cover some fundamentals about the jacket. The Infinity 2 Pro's outer is made from polyester and nylon with tougher overlays at shoulders, and at the elbows for increased abrasion protection. There are fit adjusters at the hips, at the waist, and on the arms, where there are two, one above the elbow and one below. These adjusters help take up any slack that you create by removing the quilted thermal liner that sits inside this jacket, and the arm adjusters also help keep the elbow armour in the right place by tightening the fit above and below the elbow. There are pockets at the waist, although it's worth noting they're closed at the sides so you can't tuck your hands into the sides of them to keep your hands warm when you're off the bike. And there's also a mat pocket at the base of the spine. The Infinity 2 Pro's main fastener is a chunky zip that's protected by a storm flap that covers it with Velcro to make sure that no rain can get to the zip and through it and reach the inside. The collar fastener combines Velcro and a popper and it also has a loop that can be attached to this hook on the collar so you can keep that tucked out the way and expose your neck to some airflow while you're riding. The cuffs combine zips and velcro and the zip is a YKK waterproof zip and it also runs in two ways so you can have this vent open without having to undo the main cuff fastener. Some of the customer reviews say that these cuffs are too narrow to allow winter gloves to sit on the inside. I'd agree with people there, there's not a lot of room inside to fit a glove in. I did manage to get my middleweight thermal gloves on the inside and the narrow cuff meant I actually got a good seal to stop water getting in, but I can see why some people would struggle to get their thicker gloves on the inside. In addition to those cuff vents, there are two vertical vents on the chest. They're also protected by a YKK waterproof zip and there's another vent running across the upper back, across the top of the shoulder blades. So all of the vents on this jacket aren't direct to body. Having a laminated membrane means the outer can open up to allow air to pass through without going through the membrane. That's exactly how it works on this jacket. But there's also a lining material that joins the two parts of the membrane and the air has to flow through that. So it will inhibit airflow, even if it's just by a little bit. As well as the membrane to protect you against rain, for cold days, there's that quilted thermal liner that I mentioned earlier. It has full sleeves and it's quite a substantial liner too. So this jacket gives good flexibility to cover different temperature ranges because you've got the vents to open up on warm days and you've got that thermal liner to protect you when it gets chilly. In terms of protection, there's CE level one armor for shoulders and elbows. And there's also a CE level one spine protector. It's not a full back protector. It only covers the central spine area but the pocket has room for an optional full back protector if that's something you want to go for. There are also pockets on the inside for Risha's optional chest armour, which is another upgrade you have to buy separately. There are links to both the chest and back armour options in the description for this video. This jacket has three pockets on the inside. That's one Napoleon pocket just here, and then two wallet type pockets. And then the latter two are also duplicated in the thermal liner. So you get those two pockets, whether you're using the thermal liner or not. And finally, there's a short zip to connect to compatible Risha trousers. If you want a pair with the same laminated membrane as this jacket, 
then you need to look for the Colorado 2 Pro trousers, which cost £249.99 a pair. There's a link to those trousers in the description for this video as well. I hope that gives a detailed run through of everything you need to know about the Infinity 2 Pro jacket. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.